need you to pay for that so you need to you need to pay for that um, I really was okay um, are you gonna pay for my nails I'm, I'm in my soft guy era. are you gonna pay for my I hair am, I am in my soft guy era I'm gonna need you to pay for that what about my makeup that I, I don't care about me that first of all if you're broke you can just say so <gasps> you showed up in your little dusty.com outfit so if you, I mean, you didn't spend that much money on the outfit, so I know you can cover this bill. So go ahead and cover oh my that. God, I didn't realize how you were so in your soft. I'm not lowering my standards. Oh. Please pay for that bill. Oh my God. And your nails ain't even done. I'm looking at them right now. So you got money. I know you do. Thank you. Now I'm watching you. Come on. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Thank you so much for putting me in my masculine. I appreciate that so much. I appreciate that so much. Because it's, it's you know what? And this is what a real woman does. This is what a real woman does. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Mm-hmm. Drizzle, drizzle. And left the tip. Drizzle, drizzle. Okay, could you could you please open the car door? Are you serious? Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate this. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you soon. The males have started saying drizzle, drizzle, like sprinkle, sprinkle. It's a new generation of men, so are are so feminine. <laughs> Drizzle, drizzle. I thought they were talking about Drake. It doesn't stick as good as sprinkle, sprinkle. Though. Sound like they're actually drooling. Okay. Sound like you're drooling. Sound like your water be about to get cut off. Anyway. <laughs> Sound like your water pressure low. You live in a bad area told you that my boyfriend broke up with me because he's in his soft guy era here are the other reasons why he actually broke up with me he wanted an only fans and i told him no because it was disrespectful in our relationship and he told me that i was insecure and that i didn't support his dreams and if i wasn't going to support his dreams then we shouldn't be together the other reason he broke up with me is because he said he wasn't doing husband duties until he had a ring. So I got him a Pandora ring, but he told me that wasn't good enough. And I should have taken out a mortgage on the house to afford a real ring. And that it was giving broke. And that it was broke girl energy. The next reason he broke up with me is because I didn't do enough house chores. Every single time I worked a 20 hour day and I was working all the jobs that I was working, I didn't take out the trash. I didn't mow the yard. I didn't clean the windows. So he told me that I was just being lazy because he deserves to sit on the couch all day long because he's working so hard to keep himself pampered and maintained and, you know, feeling good about himself. And that I didn't love him because I wasn't supporting his soft guy era. The next one is pretty self-explanatory. He told me that I didn't believe in our relationship anymore because I wasn't looking at horoscopes or sending him his daily horoscope every single day. The next one is really sad. My grandma passed away and I cried at her funeral. And he told me that that was too feminine and definitely that I shouldn't be crying at her funeral because it gives him the ick and real women wouldn't cry. The next one, I guess I didn't put in enough effort because I forgot to get him flowers, even though I booked a yacht party that had unlimited bottle service. But that's my bad because I should have gotten him flowers at least once a month because it didn't matter that I was paying all the bills, that I was working 100 hours, that I was putting in all of this effort everywhere else because he wanted flowers every now and then. So my bad for that. And the last one, I lost one of my three jobs and he told me that if I couldn't support him in his soft guy era, then I didn't deserve him. But if I couldn't support him at his best, then I definitely didn't deserve him at his worst. He definitely deserved better. Okay, bye. The problem I have with the drizzle drizzle movement 
is really nothing less attractive in a man than seeing him follow up after other men. Women want to be with leaders. We don't want to be with no little boys that's following up after other men, listening to what the big homie says. We want to be with the big homie, you know? And a lot of these drizzle men you see in the comments is like, that's right, King. That's right. That's right. It's like, it's one, y'all copying sisters and you're getting feminine tendencies because of it. Because as women, we like, yeah, girl, yeah, girl. That's what we do. Y'all are supposed to be leaders in these streets where, you know, your sons are only supposed to be saying, that's right. Not, you know what I mean? Y'all are literally out here following other men like y'all not grown, like you're not grown men. And that's simp behavior, which is why many of you are getting played for your money. Because the official brothers, they ain't getting played for their money out here. They know how to get, how to talk to a woman. They know how to make a woman feel some kind of way. If you official out here, you been living the soft damn life. You better tell them. If you official out here with, as a man, you been living a soft damn life. That's why we saying we got to live a soft life because we've been giving these MFs soft lives. You know, y'all taking the wrong approach. Instead of trying to become women, try to become your big homies. Your girl wants the big homie. That's the problem. Y'all got to try to become the big homies. Stop trying to be the, the followers. Stop trying to be the women. Become the big homies, man. You know what it is in school. All the girls liked your big homie. That's what y'all need to be shooting for. <laughs> What's crazy to me is how she can notice that women aren't attracted to men who follow what other men say, right? that's a problematic statement itself but this is the thing about it is she expects that men are gonna be interested in females that follow other females and this is the hypocrisy of it all men don't we don't like females that copy the failed behavior of failed females the, these females they're not copying behavior from you know married women and women that aspire to actually be married seriously on a serious level so you know it's just it's really hypocritical what she's saying here especially when she's talking about how men falling other men you know copying uh sprinkle sprinkle is, is feminine tendencies but this thing you flip it the other way around a lot of these females that follow other females become masculine i mean just look at the feminist movement and she talking about you gotta you know follow the big homie like she's a hypocrite because in one moment you're saying oh stop listening to other men who are you know drizzle drizzle out here but then follow big homie is not big homie another man and this is the thing like females like her they're just masculine and they just hurt and upset and triggered because the whole drizzle drizzle movement you know it's it's mocking females for their bullshit for their tedious crappy degenerate ways and to be honest i think it's a win it's a win a win is a win Drizzle, drizzle. So I knew the hit dogs would holler with my last video about the soft guy era, this whole drizzle, drizzle movement, right? I understand and I know exactly what it is. But what you men fail to realize that's participating in this so-called satire, this so-called sarcasm that's going on this whole little made up mo movement. What you don't realize is that real masculine men do not reciprocate the energy. They don't reciprocate female energy. They're not trying to get their lick back. You all are trying to make up something to give back at the little sprinkle lady. Masculine men don't have time for that. So it's just showing proving that a lot of you men are feminine. Masculine men do not care about how much money women make. They don't care about how educated you are, how much money you make, because that's not what they need you for. That's not what they want you for. A masculine man who understands his role and responsibility can date and deal with a woman 
working in a uh, McDonald's drive through or whatever. He doesn't care. He wants to be with her and improve her life and her well-being. You men beg. You got your hands looking like cups because you out here begging. Even if you saying that, oh, we just joking, we know. Nah. It's truth in jokes. And a lot of y'all will let Diddy take you shopping. <laughs> 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 I go on a date with a female and the bill comes and I look at it and I say, uh, you know, it was so good to see you and everything. She don't pick up the bill and she said, oh, you're not going to pay for it. I said, what? Drizzle, drizzle. I'm not going to pay for anything. Um, that's giving me a ick. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you're, you should be paying for the bill. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I got ready. Like, my suit cost like thousands of dollars. I got ready for you. My cologne cost a couple thousand. Like, I got ready and showed up. Like, I don't know what you're on, but I'm in my soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle. So, I'm just trying to make sure that you understand that what's happening here is that you need to really put out. I don't know really what you have to offer. You could just say you're broke, but you could just say you're broke because I got a maid, I got a chef, I got an assistant. I don't really need a woman. So if you're broke, you can just say so, you know, but I have to go ahead and block her. I was not going back home with her. You know, if you and your soft guy era, continue to be in your soft guy era because we are not lowering our standards. We will find someone who would do better. The thing that I feel that some men are overlooking with their whole drizzle drizzle movement is that you had to have brought something to the table in order to effectively threaten women to take that thing away. When you say things like, cause we're not gonna give you guys babies, for some women being impregnated by you is a serious threat. When you say you're not gonna marry women, for some women who know that being married to some men means nothing but unpaid labor, unappreciated labor, that it means that you're going to weaponize your incompetence, they don't see that as exciting either. When you say that you're not going to pay all the bills, now how many of you are really paying all the bills? And the alternative that you all offer is because if you don't take one of us and accept us as we are, you're going to have to die alone, have to get you a pet. Have you seen how some of these women treat their pets? Have you seen the steaks? Have you seen the, the skincare routine and the massage? Have you seen how these women treat their pets? They love those dogs. Oh, they love those cats. Have you seen their apartments here on TikTok? How well furnished and clean and well kept they are? You're not threatening these women by offering to take off the table something that you never brought to it. So for all the men out there who are refusing to evolve, refusing to adapt, refusing to adjust, there's one thing I know for sure. You're going to tap out long before the single women do. Nah, because I'm seeing all these dudes online talk about soft guy era this, soft guy era that. Y'all wanting girls to pay for stuff. And honestly, bro, you type of dudes, bro, is damn right. It's about time. Personally, if you ask me, it couldn't have been said better. I'm, I'm just relieved to know that it ain't just me. You want to come here asking me what I got to offer, what I bring to the table. Baby, I am the table. And, and, and it's not the question of do I got money obviously but i want yours how could we speak in our mind now we sassy now we acting zesty what y'all be saying and did don't care i'm gonna put your ass to work i'm looking for the big ballers okay when that bill comes to the table don't even look in my direction it's giving broke girl and baby if that's the case that's fine just say that no judgment but next caller i'm sorry boo no money on your dunyan <laughs> it's gotta go at this point i'm not even answering the call unless i get a cash app first like what where's my money for my haircut you want me to pump the gas? I forgot my wallet for me, my favorite line. And don't ask me to take out the trash. Baby, I'm in Margiela's. This ain't no soft boy era. This is a soft boy forever. What are you talking about? No, you drizzle drizzle men are actually being dead serious. You're not making a mockery of any sprinkle sprinkle gals. You're simply projecting, right? Because sprinkle sprinkle gals, we're not, we don't have to make anything up. We can just live the experience and then talk about it because it is a reality for us in our dating experience right because we don't seek men the men seek us and we pick and choose which man is worthy of being with us and we specifically choose the men who are willing to provide 
that's all. The last three men I've chosen to give my time and energy either paid my rent, paid my bills, or gave me money anytime I asked or took me out on shopping sprees. I didn't have to open any doors. Why should I lift a finger around a man, right? So I'm saying that out loud, not to be funny. It's because that is my reality. <laughs> so it could sound dumb to you all you want. At least we get to live that reality by choice. It's fabulous to be quite honest, but if you're not capable of being that masculine energy in a feminine's life, I mean, work that out. But projecting your little drizzle drizzle, I feel sorry for you. Honestly, it's sad. Okay, in terms of the whole drizzle drizzle thing, it's not even worth acknowledging because it's just like, it's an insult to my intelligence to acknowledge it. But something I keep thinking about and it just pleases me so. It's not like this yet, but this is the world that I dream of. I dream of a world where women have the power that men have where we are the people who make up the majority of office, we make up the majority of political positions, make up the majority of CEOs, make up the majority of people in finance. We're the ones who have all the power in society. I would love to be in my 50s and my 60s and dating guys in their 20s just so they can like sit around and look pretty and I have the resources and I give them the resources at my leisure and they're just around to make me look good in social environments. And they have my arms and they make me feel young. I, I love the idea of that world. We're not there yet. If y'all think you're going to get beautiful young women to shower you in gifts, no, no. That's just not the way the world works right now. But you guys are more than welcome to go get yourselves a sugar mama. In the meantime, I think women... The young women should either be dating men who give them resources and provide for them or they should be alone and running for office, um, getting into finance, getting their finances in order, starting businesses. So in 30, 40 years, we can have the upper hand and then we can drizzle, drizzle something on y'all if y'all cute enough. How about that? And as long as y'all talking about some drizzle, drizzle and making your little TikToks or whatever you're doing instead of hitting gym, clocking the fuck in. You're going to be losing this race. You're going to be falling behind. And you're already very behind. You're behind and you had a head start. So I suggest you log off and clock in. All right, ladies. The men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. So drizzle, drizzle to your sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay? At the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man, those things are all bad. Put them away. Okay. They said no problem. They have no problem being in their soft guy era. So I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. And while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right, well, they've decided to match your sass and now they're embracing it. So I hope that you get everything that you wanted because ladies, y'all have created some monsters, okay? Uh, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. And this is the thing, like sh these females, like they wanna be men. That's, that's really what it is, like. <laughs> They don't want to be feminine. They don't want to be women. I think because, you know, in their mind, they think a woman's role is like being subservient. And it's not. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all put on this planet to actually serve. Everyone sees that in different, you know, lights of understanding. But we were called to serve. And maybe you don't believe in god or maybe you you're an atheist maybe you don't believe in anything right but you're still here to serve because are you not gonna serve yourself are you are you not gonna serve your partner are you not gonna serve your children are you not gonna serve the ones you love the ones you care about 
as a whole man, we know this, right? Even if we don't believe in God, we know this. Because the truth is, no one can serve a man the way that man can serve himself. But the other truth is, no one can serve that man but a woman or like a woman can. But that's the problem. Women no longer want to be women because they want to be served. They don't appreciate the service that they do receive from majority of men. Right? And the men that they that are at the top that they desire, those men aren't willing to serve women the way that they want to be served or desire to be served it's all gotten t gotten toxic so then they have now this like deep inner resentment because they can't get the service from men that they want so now you know really feminism is a movement for them to like become men but this is the problem once you become the man that you want what else is there for you to have you are now the man drizzle drizzle <laughs> thank you all for watching please drop me a like let me know what you think about this one in the comments and don't forget to subscribe until next time